sounds good all the time. And I'm standing here by my country living grain mill because I'm getting ready to make some hot cereal. And I wanted to show you how I do it. Now, a while back, I did do a video on how to make like a cream of wheat type cereal. And you can find that video right up here. Um, but there were some things I didn't think to say in that video that I wanted to clear up or actually didn't even think of at all at the time. And that is with certain grains, once you have the cereal made, if you're gonna make up a big batch at a time, it is best that you either put it in the freezer and, and just take out what you need as you need it, or just grind up what you need at a time rather than keeping it stored away in a cabinet because things like your flaxseed, your wheat grains and things like that will go rancid in a short period of time once they've been ground up. Um, now, I'm also gonna give you some options of things you can do for a gluten-free cereal, which is not what I'm going to be making today, but I'll start with a few ingredients that I have on hand for making a gluten-free multi-grain cereal. So here I have some organic rice. Um, I actually bought this rice recently at Costco, and I cannot remember the name of it, but this so far is my favorite rice. I'm really liking it. Again, for a gluten-free option, you can use white rice, you can use some quinoa, you can use amaranth grains, or whatever grains that you like best, and then blend them together however you want. Flaxseed is also another good one to add to this. So I'm gonna put in, oh, I don't know, about that much of the white rice, whatever that is, maybe about a half cup at most. Oh, and here's the, here's the cereal I have ground up so far. And then you might want to put that much again of your quinoa. And I'm just trying to make a, multi, a good, healthy, multi-grain cereal instead of just the wheat so that we can get all these good grains whenever we're having our cereal. And I would say a uh, quarter cup to a half cup of your flaxseed. There's no need to have real specific measurements. It's entirely up to you. Now what I have here is a gluten-free blend. And I'm sure many of you can think of many other grains that you can add to this to have a nice, yummy, uh, hot cereal blend that is uh, totally gluten-free. But since we don't have an issue with gluten, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of my pre-soaked and then dried organic hard white wheat berries. And probably that same amount again. And you can do this with just rice if you want a cream of rice type cereal or whatever grain you like best. Spelt would also be a good one. I have spelt, but I, I don't have it. I have it all sealed up right now and I don't feel like unsealing the bucket because it's a big one. So I'll show you what this looks like so far. Okay, there's the blend of grains that I have in here. All right, and then what I did on this, now in the video where I did this, the wheat berries, I did a, um, I used my blender for that because at the time I wasn't wanting to mess around with the, the grind on this because I had it set where I wanted for the flour. But now I'm feeling more comfortable about kind of adjusting it back and forth and switching around. So I want to get this whole jar filled up and then I'm going to get it set back where I want it for grinding my flour. And then I'm going to be storing this in the freezer. So I'm doing this by hand because when it's a, when it's a good coarse grind like this, it's actually pretty easy to do by hand. Now you can go finer if you want. It just depends on how smooth you want your cereal. But this, when it's coarse like this, it's super easy to grind it by hand. All right, now you can see here now, if you look closely, most of the flax seed didn't actually get ground up, but that's okay because I'm going to be cooking it anyway. I just went ahead and threw it in there just in case we could get a few of them ground up. Now, if I went with a finer grind, then those would definitely get ground up. But I'm liking the coarseness of this, so you can see that. 
And oat groats would be another good thing to throw in here. All right, now I'm back in the kitchen and I'm going to put the cereal into my jar. There we go, that almost topped it off. So now we have some good, organic, healthy, hot cereal of our choice. So easy to make. So if you're already storing grains in your food storage and seeds, just get creative and try different blends and find out what you like best. And again, I'm going to be storing the jar in the freezer since I have all these wheat grains and, and some of the flax seed did get ground up and I don't want it to go rancid, so that's where I'm going to save it. And then how the recipe goes for this is, and you can, again, this is something you can vary however you want, is I do one and a half cups of milk, or you can use water. We use our, the raw goat's milk we get from our friend. And then half cup of the cereal, and then there's like a little pinch of salt. Again, going with the good healthy salt like Redmond Real or Himalayan salt. And then you just heat, just heat it slowly and then just keep stirring it until it gets thick. It takes about five to eight minutes for it to cook, and uh, but uh, it will probably vary depending on the grains that you have in there. So anyway, very easy, and again, if you don't have a grain mill, you can just use your blender, like I did in that other video, because that's what I was doing with when I was both doing it as a cream of rice or a cream of wheat. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching, take care, and God bless.